Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It's Tuesday. It's just been a long weekend, so we've got a short work week, so lots to do. And I thought that I'd vlog today and tomorrow because I have a little bit more going on tomorrow. Today is just going to be a bit of a sit down and grind it out. I've done most of my client check-ins this morning and I've got some client calls and then also just working on some wellness plans, onboarding some new clients. And with that being said, I wanted to say that I have had a couple of people connect with me via YouTube, asking, saying that they wish they could work with me. And you can absolutely work with me. I run my business virtually currently. So regardless of where you are in whatever time zone, we can definitely make something work. And I wanted to make it a little bit more accessible for my YouTube family. So I'm offering for a limited window, I'm gonna offer 20% off for a nutrition wellness plan to get you set up to help you achieve your health and wellness goals, regardless of what that is. So I'll have those prices linked down below as well as my email if you want to get in contact with me. Um, I would love to help you. This YouTube community has given me so much support. And so if I'm able to help you, let's, let's connect and I'll have that all linked down below. I feel like I have so much to update you guys on and I'm definitely gonna do that in this video. So I'll sit down today and we'll have a big chat and I'll give you all the updates. And yeah, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I decided to make some OG porridge. Usually I have berries and a whole bunch of other little bits and pieces in my porridge. But today I went with the way my mum used to make it, which is just with raisins. And she used to make it in the pot. I did make it in the microwave because I was lazy. And then I'm gonna have it with some honey. We've been smashing this honey. You can see there's a little bit of peanut butter on the side because peanut butter and honey together are a really good time. So I'm just gonna add this and I think I'm gonna eat it outside. Ty and I have decided to leave the house to go for a bit of a walk. It's uh, just before one o'clock. So wanted to get some sunshine and this is the first time I've been outside today. What about you? Yep, same. Yeah, first time being outside today. I feel like the day can just get away from you. Oh. I feel like the day can just get away from you and all of a sudden it's 4 p.m. and you haven't been outside yet. So it's nice to break up the day with some steps. I'm not sure if this is gonna be really windy. Uh, if it is, I might not use this clip. But we headed out with an intention to just pop in. We might not get anything, but there's this general store and in the general store, they kind of have this big freezer fridge section that has some specials. I say big, it's not that big. It's just they seem to have a lot of these specials and whether it's because the products are gonna be expiring soon or whatever, I'm not sure, but you can often pick up a steal from there. So we're gonna walk there and see if there's any specials to be had. We did do a very small grocery shop yesterday, but honestly, yesterday was a day filled with errands. As you know, we're moving and we're subletting our apartment. So we're not fully giving it up. So there isn't a ton of stuff to do with that. There's just kind of little bits around the house. We effectively want to make it like an Airbnb. So it's really clean and tidy and not super cluttered. But at the same time, all of our furniture can stay, our kitchen appliances. We just need to really empty the closets and bathroom cabinets, etc., so that they can put their stuff in. Uh, so that part's not too stressful, but we do want to sell our car. Like even if we come back to Canada, this car, like, like honestly, we'd probably get a better car next time we purchase a car. So we didn't want it to just sit in a garage for five months or whatever until we next come back to Canada. So yesterday we thoroughly cleaned that. We honestly, at this point we could be you know, detailed interior car cleaners. Yeah. But anyway, all of that just to say that we were cleaning the car yesterday and we were so hot, sweating, because we did it uh, down in our parking garage and then we went to the actual car wash place to wash the exterior. And we really couldn't be bothered doing the grocery shop and we basically only went in just to use the air conditioning in the supermarket, just to walk around and cool down. And yes, we did get a few things, but we were so tired, I feel like I was walking on 0.5 speed around the supermarket just enjoying the aircon. So really it was a pretty unproductive grocery shop. So I definitely need to go to the fruit and veggie store whether I do that today or tomorrow. I'm not sure because we do have some bits, but definitely if I could pick up some other bits and pieces. We're very low on the sort of snack game. Yeah. Uh, we've got some stuff for meals, but not for snacks and we all know snack time is an important time 
some beautiful hydrangeas. If you remember, these are our wedding flower because mum and dad have heaps of them on their property and that's where we got married. There's some more. And then there's some pink ones and some light purple ones. And apparently the color of them changes due to the phosphate in the soil. So here is what I was talking about. So there seems to be some deals on like the tofu cubes here and like the Earth's own like dairy-free cream cheese spirit. There's some plant-based smoked salmon, like pretty good deals. Some of them is kind of close to the normal prices, but like that, the holy veggie for $2.99. Also, here's those rip-offs of the Percy Pigs from Marks and Spencers, this German brand. So these Johnny Pops are so delicious. They're all like naturally made. This is the one I had had, the raspberry coconut. Really good, just literally made with local Langley raspberries, coconut milk, bananas, lime juice, a bit of sugar, love. Mango coconut, triple berry best Whitaker selection. How many options have you got there? I didn't know you could get the dark garner here. That's so good. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Love that. And they've got Beer Bells Protein Bars. Look at this. All the options. This is Welks, by the way. I'm back home now. I ended up getting a few things, just some veggie proteins, a couple of tofu scrambly bits, and then the other one was made of black beans and had some corn in it, and I'm excited because I haven't tried any of them, and obviously they were super affordable, so put them in the freezer. Just working on the couch with my two screen set up, very sophisticated. I'm comfortable right now, so it's not so much of a problem, but I definitely know it's not the ideal office setup. Obviously, I have a call. I jump up on my desk, but yeah, my back's just really bothering me. It's not your typical backache. I don't really have a lot of back problems. It just gets really triggered from sitting on that stool. So anyway, I'm comfortable. I wanted to say, though, that as of late, I've been having a lot more urgency for the bathroom. And I think it's two things. Number one, I think I have more awareness of it. For example, I was at a friend's house for dinner the other night and where their bathroom is located in their living room, it's right off, it's just right off the living room. And it, if you're sitting looking at the TV, the toilet door is right there. And so I don't feel comfortable just going in to use the bathroom because whilst the hosts of the barbecue, I feel comfortable, I, you know, I don't know everyone that well. And so, you know, going into the bathroom, being in there for some time, I, I don't know, I just get embarrassed around it. So I was sitting in a lot of discomfort, kind of needing to use the bathroom and having that urgency and riding those waves. And the fortunate thing about the J pouch, if you've had ulcerative colitis or familiar, is that at least I can hold it. I can wait, whereas ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, you can't as much. Um, but even just then, when we were out for our walk, walked to the general store, and then I asked them if I could use their bathroom because I was really worried about the walk home because I was feeling a lot of discomfort. And yeah, so I think it's the awareness that I'm maybe having that increased anxiety around there not being a bathroom, but then also I've got a bit of discomfort and irritation. So that will be part of the health update that I will do once I finish work for the day. It's 2.33, I'm probably gonna finish at about 5.30 and Sophie and James are cooking me dinner. So I probably won't check back in again until I'm headed to theirs. Okay, so Sophie and James are cooking me dinner. They just got back from the grocery store. It all looks very healthy and whole foods based. What do we got? What's the plan? We're doing a Yum, look at high protein Asian noodle salad with Things and stuff in it. Things and stuff. Okay, and I'm I just love things do and it. stuff. I'm going for it because I'm. All going. right, let's go. Um, so what we got going here, Sophie? Um, we have got garlic powder, salt, gochujang, a little bit of avocado oil. Lovely. That's it. Simple. Okay, so so far in this bowl, Sophie's shaved up some carrot, got some purple cabbage, and then some bean sprouts. And then I guess this is going to be added more towards the end, but there's also some edamame. Are they yucky soba noodles? Uh, no, they're yummy soba noodles. Whoa! <laughs> no, 
You can hear it sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> You could use it. And then we're that's, gonna add, are we gonna put the tofu in it or everyone's gonna add their well, own tofu? Well, this at the is top? all cold and that's hot, so I think we I could put saying. it on the top. Yeah. I, I hear now I need to do an official taste test to make sure I flavoured it enough because Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here is the finished product. It looks delicioso. Look at that sunset. I don't think you can even really see just how pink that moon is. Apologies for the weird angle. It is the next day. I couldn't film last night because I couldn't find my light. It was just so dark in the apartment, even with the lights on, that I just decided not to film and filming today. But the reason I have a weird angle is because it's super sunny outside. So I was getting blinded by the sun. So we kind of huddled in a corner here. But I did just want to give a few updates. So there's kind of different categories. And first we'll go with the health update. I think I mentioned, but I've now completed all of my iron infusions and my iron is, is at a relatively healthy level. Still not super high, but definitely in the normal range. And I'm massively feeling the positive effects of that. I know that I mentioned a little while ago that I was having quite a few pains and sort of spasms and we thought it was the J pouch. And I actually got referred back to my gastroenterologist through this pain. And he did a pouchoscopy and that was, I wanna say just over a week ago. And the reason he really wanted to look inside was because he said, based upon the symptoms and the pain that I was saying that I was having, he was concerned that I actually did have Crohn's disease. Now let's rewind a little bit. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at 15 and then fast forward to my cancer diagnosis and having my colon removed because of that, they determined that it was in fact ulcerative colitis. And so by removing the colon, it was effectively curative and I no longer had the ulcerative colitis. However, when I was describing this pain to my doctor, he said, well, maybe, oh, the lighting, maybe I uh, did have Crohn's disease because this pain seemed to be in line with that. So when he looked, he, he couldn't see any Crohn's in the J pouch, which is great. However, he can't completely rule that out until he looks in an endoscopy to have a look uh, and see the rest of the digestive tract because I am describing the pain to be quite a bit higher up and it's very acute when it happens. It's not constant, but it does happen daily and it will spike up and then it will drop. And I just, I know something's not right and whether that's something really small that can be fixed really easily or if it's something a little bit more complicated, I'm not sure, but I am getting that all looked at before I leave in September to go to the UK. And on that note, I've also booked my CT scan. So that is uh, this Saturday and that will be my last six monthly check-in. I've been feeling a little bit anxious about it and for the most part, I'm pretty good at rationalizing. You know, this will be my fourth checkup since diagnosis and it will be clear. I know that I have no reason to believe that it wouldn't. You know, my blood tests are, are fine, um, but I am still anxious. It's still not a nice thing to go in and get your scan and be in that same room where you, you know, effectively got really bad news. And also going to BC Cancer is just a very triggering place for me. Uh, Everyone there is really lovely and I feel really supported there, but you're around a whole bunch of people who are scared, who are battling through cancer, um, just such a range of emotions. And it's just, the place brings me a lot of anxiety. So I am nervous for that, but I do know that it will be good results. And once it does come back as clear, then I get to move to annual scans, which is fantastic. So we leave in September and with that, I would have done all my blood work and all of my screening that I need to do. And then we're going to the UK, like I mentioned, for a bit of a trial run first for a few months, then we're coming back to Canada, but only for a few days. So we were going to come back for Christmas here, but we've decided to go to New Zealand. Um, by that time, it would have been 18 months since I've been to New Zealand and I want to see my friends. I want to see my family. Uh, so we're going uh, for Christmas and then we're actually going for part of January. And then we're actually coming back to Canada. At this stage, Ty has some work booked in Canada uh, in Feb. So we will be here for a little bit before we kind of then go to the UK again. And all of this is, you know, Ty's industry is very, you don't know what's going to happen. You have an audition one week and then 
you've suddenly got your next year planned or your next six months planned because it's booked you up. So there's a lot of variables in here. So what I might be saying is the plan now obviously might change, but right now this is as it stands. And we assume that kind of this end part of the year is really going to be a bit of an orientation on where we'd want to live, tie building connections. He's got to get a theater agent there. And that's something that uh, might take a little bit of time. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, whilst I know Ty's incredibly talented and he's got an agent here and got an agent in New Zealand, it's still a whole new system, a whole new uh, like industry, different way that it runs. So we have to figure out how that kind of runs and rolls and it's better to be on the ground. And he's got a few connections that, you know, he'll sit down and have coffee with and that'll give you a greater idea. And that's how he set himself up here. You know, he didn't come already with an agent. He didn't come already with a whole bunch of these leads. You build them. It's, it's definitely a hustling kind of industry. Uh, and he's really good at that. So, uh, I guess this um, end part of the year, I'm not sure if I talked about kind of what our plan is, but we have a mixture of Airbnb stay, staying with friends and also house sitting. So we, um, I, through trusted house sitters, I do, uh, we do house sitting. Uh, so it's a free exchange. We take care of their animals and we get to stay in their house for free essentially so it's a guess an exchange of services but it works out really well because we get to stay in different parts of London not every single house that we have is in central London it might be a little bit outside and in which case that's one of the scenarios where probably because I work from home and I have the more flexibility I'll stay back and make sure that the dogs or the cats or whatever we're taking care of have that attention and aren't left alone too long and then time might travel into London to you know do auditions or take meetings or whatever um, but we do have serious chunk of time where we are in London and we're not doing house sitting so it's a huge mixture but it's just a great way for us to experience different places and different areas that we might like to live in. I I have a few things on my list in terms of what I like accommodation wise. I'm really not fussy, but um, just in terms of comfort and, you know, once you've been living in apartments and units for so long, you you start to get a feel for your, your non-negotiables and then the things that you're super flexy on and you don't really care about as much. So... Um, we'll get an idea and a feel. And like I said, we're not taking Gibby for this stint. She's staying, she's staying with Sophie and James. And then she will also be taken care of by friends while we are in New Zealand. And then when we come back to Canada, she'll obviously be with us and we'll have a greater idea of um, taking her with us wherever we may be. Um, but we've made sure that she's up to date with all of her shops and everything for whatever she might need for her little pet passport, etc. But I want to try and minimize, you know, the taking her on a plane or moving her around as much as possible. So the more information we have and the more informed we are about where we're going, it's just, it's just better. So right now she's so happy, obviously with Sophie and James, she spends a lot of time with them. So we're really grateful that we have that kind of flexibility. Anyway, those are the main, those are the main updates and just in terms of laying out where we're going to be and what we're going to be doing. Um, there's going to be a lot of moving around. I'm going to try and vlog as much as possible as I do so. But obviously when we are staying in other people's homes, I will keep those kinds of things a little bit more discreet and rather just kind of um, keep the frame tight um, so that I'm not showing other people's things, etc. So I'll definitely be conscientious of that. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, please post them down below. I, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just about to finish up some work bits and then I'm going to meet my friend because we're going to go see Ty's matinee today. It's my third time seeing the show and I might even see it one more time. I'm just about to fly out the door and I've made a really quick protein shake. This definitely needs an iron, but it's too hot for that. So let's just hope that the heat as I walk just irons out the wrinkles. Uh, I'm going to chug this and then yeah, I've got about a 45 minute walk. So it's a nice walk. It's along the seawall because Ty, I've mentioned before, is performing on Granville Island. So it's a beautiful walk and I'm going to walk there and I think probably he'll drive me home. So I'll only be walking one of the ways. Uh Here's the star. I just finished watching Ty's show for the third time. He did an amazing job. I ran with my friend Carly and she loved it also. We're just 
racing back to the car because Ty actually paid for parking, which he doesn't usually, but he really struggled trying to park. So with that, we just wanted to make sure that we get there before it expires so we don't get a ticket. This car is so clean from us cleaning it the other day. So clean. So clean. Just decided to make some date bark. So I've just melted some dark chocolate with coconut oil. And now I've just opened up these dates and I'm gonna smush them down. They've got pips in them. So I'm gonna need my other hand to peel it apart and smush it down. I'll probably smush down four of these and then I'll drizzle this on top. And then also probably add a little bit of peanut butter. And then I only need to freeze it for about 30 minutes. And it's like a Snickers, it's so good. I'll show you once it's all frozen. I've just been watching the UK Love is Blind, but here is the date bark or the Snickers. You can see the chocolate has hardened. I actually ended up putting these pretzel crisps on top just to have that kind of salty crunch texture. And as you can see, I can kind of just pull apart almost like chocolate squares each of these little dates and either have this all at one time, which I totally probably will, or I could just have them like you would break off a couple of squares of chocolate at a time and it's so good. I just got out of the shower and I'm about to do my gua sha routine. I can't seem to find the oil that I usually use on my face for the last couple of weeks. So I've been using coconut oil and it works just fine as a slipping agent. I open the lymph nodes, you know, all the regular spots and then I'll just gua sha in a moment. I'll obviously tie back my hair so I don't get oil in it. Uh, but as I was kind of just taking my time doing my night routine, Ty's obviously doing his second show for the day. So he did a matinee and now he's doing his evening show. Um, while he's out, I'm just taking my time with my night routine. And I forgot to mention in my updates that I finished in-person coaching. And I finished a little bit earlier, obviously, than we're leaving because... I found a couple of things. Number one, I was kind of struggling to manage both uh, in-person coaching and also all of my one-to-one -one clients just from an energy perspective, getting up that early at 4.30, doing that and then coming home and then just kind of diving straight into my day uh, definitely was quite exhausting. But then on top of that, just, you know, having to go to bed so early to honor those really early starts to make sure that you get adequate sleep and you feel your best and still not feeling your best you know often still getting more digestive stress i obviously wake up quite a bit in the night with the j pouch and i just i just like sleep was massively getting sacrificed there and also my evening you know it's after eight now but i would be thinking about being in bed you know and then i'd be annoyed and stressed that i wasn't asleep because i've got to get as much sleep as i possibly can and if you, you know, most of us know in summer, if you don't have AC, that sleep is, you know, it's much better to sleep in a cooler environment. And so, you know, you're stirring a little bit more, it's harder to get to sleep, it's a bit uncomfortable. And yeah, the fact that I have to get up super early was definitely impacting my overall health. So I decided to finish that up a little bit earlier and just focus on my business. And it's been great. It's honestly been so good. I. I've been getting up at about 7.30, sometimes 8. We're pushing out. Like my earliest call would be 8.30, but not usually. It would usually be a little bit later. And then I do, so not every single time I check in with a client, it's a call. Often there'll be a virtual check-ins um, through my app or, you know, via email, um, responding to messages, uh, biofeedback forms, etc. So not everything is a call, but a call is something that I would have to be ready for, you know, presentable, not in my PJs, you know, so obviously I can sit on the couch like you guys have seen me and work on my computer or I'm up at my desk, you know, hi, <laughs> good morning. I, I promise I'm a put together person. So obviously I wouldn't want to cut that too fine if I had an earlier call, but it's been so good to have the extra sleep. Um, yeah, but I, I just wanted to add that because I forgot to add that into my updates. So now I'm going to do this and kind of at my leisure, like I'm not super tired. So I'll probably wait until Ty comes home from his show, which honestly, I have been with Ty for over seven years and I still get excited for him to come home. So usually my goal was if I had to get up early, I would have to be asleep before he got home because if he got home, then I want to talk to him and, you know, that would disturb me and then I wouldn't get to sleep until much later because he takes some time to wind down before he goes to bed. And yeah, then I wouldn't be falling asleep until 1130. Anyway. All, all of that just to say that I have a much more flexible evening routine now. I don't know why I needed three minutes to explain that to you, but I'm really grateful for it and my, my digestion feels a little bit better for it. So yeah, all in all, um, 
all positive updates in that everything that isn't already in harmony in my body, I'm working towards bringing in harmony. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try vlog a little bit more in August, but I will see you all in my next video.